investigation. It's almost gatekeeping for good science. Yes. So, uh, what is your attitude and policy at GIE? Well, we um, we do a lot with our peer reviewers. We always want to make sure that we have you know the best quality reviewers. So, we encourage. Um, all of our new reviewers to work through the GIE reviewer course and we track their um, progress through scores that we give them for each of their review um, and we've actually recently started a mentorship program for our new reviewers um, which we've really seen kind of helps them know what we're looking for um, what makes a good review uh, and and we actually even um, have an award ceremony on annually for our reviewers just to show them our appreciation and to, and to recognize their great work um, and, and and we understand that for an author receiving negative reviews or even rejections can be really difficult but we just encourage them to not take it personally and understand that um, journals such as GIE have really low acceptance rates um, and, and the best thing you can do is look at the reviewers comments we want always want them to give positive um, constructive critiques and and just take those comments and see if that, that can help them improve their manuscript and, and resubmit it elsewhere. So how do you go about preparing uh, the material for reviewers, um, for the, the training material or the resources, how do you go about preparing that? We actually, we do have um, a fantastic doctor who is in charge of our um, reviewer programs. Um, he, he, it was his um, concept to really start this new reviewer program, match great reviewers that have great track records with new reviewers who are just kind of starting out and really want to get involved in the review process um, and and we run a lot of statistics I, I do quite a few reports tracking how well our reviewers are doing and really just seeing those who are giving the best quality reviews and 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 as I said you know we want to make sure that we are honoring them so in case of a peer review where say out of the group of three peer reviews, there are conflicting views about mm -hmm. a paper, and you need another opinion. In that case, would you look out and seek advice from another person who is in who works in the peer review capacity, or do you have in house uh, an e source or subject matter expert available who can help you make that decision? We actually would most likely in that case send it out for additional reviews, um, just to make sure that we're being thorough. Uh, if if an associate editor is uh, is not happy with the um, reviews they've received. They can, you know, invite as many as they uh, reviewers as they want. Um, uh, I, traditionally, we have about two reviewers for per paper, but um, but it also all of our, as I've mentioned um, previously, uh, we our associate editor looks at it. Our editor in chief looks at them. Even before we accept them, we'll have. You know, our whole editorial team will get the opportunity to look at it to make sure that there's not something that's been overlooked. So you know, it's a really thorough process, and we're we certainly are um, not taking the job lightly <laughs> reviewing these works. So that's really good yeah. to know. So a decision on a paper is more or less a collective work. Uh, I think a lot of stress is put on peer reviewers, mm -hmm. but I think. Uh, to acknowledge what even the editorial team does mm -hmm. uh, in yeah. making that decision. Because a lot of times if a paper is accepted or rejected, we mostly think that the peer reviewer has made that decision. Mm -hmm. that group has made that decision. Yeah, and it's 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 not, we, we love to get great peer reviews because we want to uh, have the best critique possible. We want to know if it, there's any revisions that need to be made. Um, we want to know whether the content is sound. But ultimately, you know, we have our team of associate editors and our editor in chief that um, are really will look at um, the reviews in the paper and, and make the, the final call on whether or not we want to publish it.